Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host from Rich TV Live. My name is Rich, and I'm here with the CEO of Silver Elephant Mining Corp, John Lee. How are you doing today, John? Hi, good afternoon. Good to be back on your show. It's been a while. Yes, it has been, and it's very good to have you back on the show. And gold and silver are off to a great start here in 2023. Can you tell us a little bit about the most recent developments and any expiration updates that Silver Elephant has had? Right, Rich. Um, the company has been around for 10 years. And we're very lucky to have acquired our flagship project's name is Pulakayo. That had over $50 million spent on it, including over 100,000 meters of drilling. Um, the uh, What we did in 2022, anticipating on rising interest rates, just volatility in the market and a bit of a down cycle in metals, we have preserved our, um, our share count and uh, avoided dilution. So I would say the news is that uh, we are we are alive and uh, we're not like a, a few number of casualties, unfortunately, that have fell that have fell through in 2022. Our assets are in good standing. We have a great share structure. We just did a financing recently, of which the insiders participated heavily, and we're in jurisdiction that's up and comer, uh, Bolivia, of which uh, you know we're surrounded by a number of um, major producers. And, uh, you know, what is one of the hottest area for silver exploration right now, Rich? That's fantastic. I love silver and I love gold. And as an investor who's looking at getting into a silver mining company, what would be the core message that Silver Elephant Mining is trying to let investors know? Right, Rich. I am a charter, charter financial analyst. I've been in the mining business for <laughs> blink of an eye over 22 years. Wow. And I would say, you know, it's already very difficult to time the commodity and metals market. It is a very cyclical business. We believe that silver is entering into a super cycle. Uh, we've been through a very heavy correction trawl where silver went down to 1620 merely four months ago. And uh, in October, I said silver is going to hit 30 in 2023. Lo and behold, you know, three months later after we're already hitting 25. So I have to up my target to maybe close to 50. Whoa. To answer your question, to answer your question, well, you know, back in the days in 1980, uh, silver was 50 and gold was uh, at 800. Gold already taken out 1800 on past, on past 2000. And typically on the top of a cycle, you have uh, silver outperforming gold. So it's, it's not inconceivable that silver can easily hit $50. And uh, so having said that, to answer your question, it's, it's already very difficult to time the metals market. You don't really need another layer of uncertainties on exploration risk, especially given that, you know, there's quite a number of companies, junior quality silver exploration companies like Silver Elephant that had a project already had considerable amount of money spent on it, whereas the replacement value is multiple folds of the current valuation. So you don't really need to, to go in after some of the drill hole exploration plays that hadn't had resources. So, the, you know, the corollary to that is silver elephant. The highlight is that we have over 100 million ounces of indicated silver in the wow. ground. And, you know, that's cost over $50 million to replicate if you had made a discovery. And I would say there are probably very few silver juniors out there. I can count maybe with my two hands that can claim the 100 million ounce century mark. Um, you know, like the famous investor Rick Roll said, it costs as much money to permit and uh, construct a big mine versus a small mine. So if you're going after silver, you really want to for, look for a project that can produce you five, seven million ounces a year at the very minimum, because that is the minimum bottom target that a major uh, would be looking would be looking out for. So I think a pertinent question to ask the CEO would be, you know, what is your target? of the ultimate size of your silver deposit, how are you gonna get there? And what do you think if, if your strategy is to be acquired, you know, what, what do you think is the magic number that a potential acquirer would, would deem as an absolute number on the low end, Rich? That's fantastic, John. And John, with 2023 just getting started, what are your top three things investors should keep an eye out for with Silver Elephant Mining Corp? 
Well, first of all, the Silver Elephant was uh, trading at a close to $100 million market cap merely two years ago. Not even two years ago when silver was $28 an ounce. And uh, and the, the company now is trading at the lowest value ever in his history. Wow. The company's history, 30 million shares at uh, 50 cents, a $15 million market cap. Um, there is no, uh, there's absolutely no, um, we have excellent community relationship. Our claims are in very, very good standing. We're in the middle of the hottest exploration area in silver. Uh, there's a number of major producers that are surrounding us. And um, I would say, I think, first of all, is um, I don't think you're going to see any negative surprises uh, that will come out, that will come out of the company. And we just, we just did a $1.5 million raise. You're going to look at, you're going to be looking at sort of rekindle the investor interest as we were really hibernating per se to try to, preserve the capital until we sense that the, the market is bottom. So we are probably not as quickly uh, to market to, 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 to promote our company as this other companies are. So I would say, I think first of all is to getting silver. This, this is the place to be 2023 is the, is the time for silver because there's a major shift in the dollar hegemony. And the secondly is to pick the right company with the resources such as silver elephant. And the third is uh, insiders are participating heavily, myself and, and, uh, and several other associates on close to 15% of the company. So you're sure that the interest, uh, the there's, uh, there's the right alignment between the shareholders and the management, Rich. Continue drill this relief. We're gonna announce a drill program very soon. And you're gonna, I think people are gonna be, uh, people are gonna be uh, reminisced of the, uh, the some of the passive spectacular drill results I put out, put out only just a couple of years ago. I can't wait. And we love here at Rich TV Live to find companies that bottoms with tight share structures and amazing, amazing assets in the ground. So you're falling into that category beautifully. Now with coal and silver, specifically silver and coal being the two main assets in Silver Elephant Mining Corp. Can you tell us how much has been invested into these two projects and which one is already cash generating? Right, Rich. Uh, as I said, I spent 20 years uh, in the mining industry. First 10 years as an investor, and the second 10 years I thought about running a. 10 years ago, mining companies as a hobby, and all of a sudden turned into a triple overtime job for the last 10 years. The coal asset is one we acquired 10 years ago, and it's gone through a 10-year bear market. It happened that uh, Rich 2022, while silver was a down market, was the best performing coal was the best performing commodity for 2022. So we actually um, managed to put the mine, coal mine back into production and realized, started realizing cash flow in December of 2022. And, um, and coal and silver, both assets combined had over $100 million spent on these two assets, US dollars, and the company is trading at one, about one eighth of that valuation. Um, what, what the coal uh, asset means to sh silver investor is the minimizing of the future dilutions to come, given that it's generating cash flow. And uh, you're getting a two for the price of one. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually sometime down the road in 2023, later 2023, that we have a spin out of the either coal asset or the silver asset. So you're really getting in at an absolute bottom level just for silver alone. And you're getting the coal thrown on top of it, actually generating cash flow for you. I love that. Now, with Silver Elephant Mining Corp only having, and you talked about this, 30 million shares issued out. We love tight share structures. Do you need to raise any funds in the near future, or do you feel that you have enough cash on hand to be able to get the goals you want accomplished for 2023? Right, Rich. As I mentioned, we'd, uh, we did a $1.4 million raise, of which we closed in two days. We're generating modest revenue from the coal right now, which uh, should increase over time. And uh, we don't anticipate any financing right now. Not to say that if, if if Elephant gets a big bump in the market that we might show up a bit of treasury to provide stable working capital um, uh, going forward. Yes. John, is there anything else that you would like to let shareholders know about Silver Elephant Mining Corp? Well, Rich, um, we, we, we've received uh, some, some of the shareholders say, hey, John, stay strong. Make sure you don't give up. Uh, the, the management is very keen of the super cycle, cycle that's to come. We have received a lot of unsolicited interest for joint venture and, and other uh, transactions of which we're not contemplating or entertaining. Pulakai represents one of the very few exceptional silver deposits that can boast 100 million ounces of silver and more. And you're getting, you're basically paying something like around 70 cents, less than a dollar, less than 
less than a uh, less than a well, not less than a dollar. You're paying less than uh, ten cents for an ounce of silver in the ground. It's wow. it's, it's, it's it's exceptional value, and uh, you know we were trading. Um, we we're one of the highest trading volume company in 2021. Uh, under the OTCQX, we had a turnover, uh, entire turnover of the company in a, in a quarter. Uh, it just so happened that 2022 was uh, was a bit of a vicious down cycle, and we had a 10 for one consolidation, which our shareholders uh, do not do not like and enjoy. But however, I think all the worst is over. Uh, the baby is throwing the water like everybody else. I think this is the, really the time, Rich, that investors look at their portfolio. And uh, and be choosing about where you want to go and, and place the right bets because a lot of the silver guys are gonna rebound with proven silver ounces resources in the ground, but there's some other exploration play haven't generated a discovery and and they they might not get the sense of torque and leverage and uh, and and lower and and the same kind of a favorable um, a reward to risk profile as silver elephant rich. Super excited to watch you guys continue to grow. I am here with the CEO of Silver Elephant Mining Corp, John Lee. I must bring the symbols to your attention. In Canada, the symbol is E-L-E-F. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. In America, it is S-I-L-E-F. Now, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, I do believe that this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO of Silver Elephant Mining Corp, John Lee. Love to have you back on the show sometime soon, John. Thank you. Always a pleasure. And if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, CEO interviews, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich to be Live with the CEO of Silver Elephant Mining Corp, John Lee, saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.